This certainly has catapulted you to a whole different level. There are now t-shirts that's, that have your face on it, Camille Vasquez. There are mugs. People are coming to you with uh, book deals, I would imagine, TV deals, offers to open your own law firm, which that would be my vote, or to join <laughs> their firm. How are you handling this newfound fame? Doing my best. It's overwhelming. Is it's, it? I was wondering. It's yeah. surreal. I, I was speaking to some friends uh, last week and I said, I've had so many pinch me moments. And tell us what it took to defend Johnny Depp because you, you seem to be a small but young, mighty team. We were strong and young, right? I mean, it's a story that I don't think has been told until now. We were, most of us, under 40 years old, mm -hmm. which is unique for a case of this magnitude. magnitude. Mm -hmm. This case, I think, called for a younger team. Um, Why? Why did you think that? Because the parties were, were young, right? And they resonate with a younger audience. And you need their perspectives. I think young people have a fresh perspective on especially these issues, the issues that we were discussing in this case. Um, abuse, Me Too, those were the issues. So Camille Vasquez, who just turned 38, and Ben Chu, a partner at their law firm Brown Rudnick, brought in five associates, including 32-year-old Sam Moniz. That jury was taking its responsibilities seriously. And 34-year-old Jessica Myers to help fill out Depp's legal roster. We met them at their New York City office. How did you pick these two to be on your team? Well, Jessica is a fantastic writer, as is Sam. And I think for people that know a little bit about the law, it's not just what's on camera, right? It's not just us objecting and yes. getting to do the fun things, mm -hmm. right, like a witness. And so for Ben and me, I mean, we just identified talent. So the lack of experience and age didn't seem daunting or wasn't concerning to any of you? To any of you? You know, Jess? in my experience, I think young attorneys, they're closer to sort of the laws and the rules because we're the ones who are sort of researching that. And so I think it was actually an asset overall. Mm -hmm. Sam? Yeah. And closer to the facts, too. You know, you get in the weeds and the facts. And I think this is a great team. I mean, lack of experience aside. And we do have some experience. Yeah. yeah. Lack, lack of yeah, experience aside. I like aside. that, Sam. You know, we have some experience. <laughs> I'm not well. trying to say you didn't know what you're doing, but you know what I mean when you yeah. look at the big picture. And this was such a big case. But there was a lot of raw talent on this team, too. Uh -huh. I mean, Camille became a star for good reason. Just uh -huh. did, you know, just did Johnny's direct examination and did a phenomenal job. And, uh -huh. you know, there was a reason she was put up there to do it. It was yeah. because the partners and everybody knew she could. Let's so. talk about that. You did Johnny, you did the direct examination of Johnny Depp. Your Honor, we call Mr. John C. Depp. I had done a witness at a trial before, but this was the first time I had done a direct examination. All right, so, Jessica. Um, so take us inside your head that morning. You know, there was a level of nerves. I think I kept waiting for this overwhelming sense of nerves, but I think, you know, once you get up there, it just feels kind of natural and you just, you, you know, do what you do. Sam, for you, was there a turning point for you in the case? Lee, I think for me, it was more of a gradual process of realizing that our story was coming in. Things can go very badly wrong at any moment. Mm -hmm. And they never went wrong. And we told the story we set out to tell. And let's talk about cameras in the courtroom, Camille, because yeah. Amber Heard's team did not want cameras in the courtroom. Why did you want cameras in the courtroom? I think it was important to the client. Mm. For Johnny, it was about finally being able to tell his story. And these, these are horrific allegations that were made against him. He needed to be able to tell his story, so but it was you know important. What, you know what, Camille, there were horrific allegations on both sides. I mean, I think some people could look and say, were there any winners here? Clearly he won in the court of public opinion. Clearly he won legally, too. But was he damaged in any way because of this? I think he came into this case thinking he had nothing else left to lose, Gail. And I think for him, it was, he had to put it all out there. Vasquez says the team of younger attorneys gave them another advantage. Something I didn't say, which I'll say to you now, is mm -hmm. that I think the pressure of it all made us probably over-prepare. Oh. So we were really prepared. And I think that can't be understated. You know, there were also, with all of the fame, also comes all the um, pettiness and cattiness, and some could say haterade, I call it, because there were a lot of social media rumors that you and Johnny Depp were romantically involved. Right. Why do you think those rumors started, and what did you think when you heard them? It was disappointing to hear them, but I, I think they started because people like 
love stories. They like to make things up, right? Um, doesn't mean they're true. And obviously in this case, they weren't true, mm -hmm. never have been true. Mm -hmm. I think people thought, well, you know, they are kind of touchy-feely. Mm -hmm. Sure, but I'm touchy-feely with everyone. <laughs> I mean, that's just who I am. I'm naturally described as a warm person. I, and, I, and I don't think there's anything wrong with caring for your clients, right? I was fighting for his life, his name. It's perfectly normal, I think, to be able to extend a hand and give him a hug and make him feel like he was protected. Mm -hmm. We all were that way with mm -hmm. him, each other and with him, mm -hmm. just supportive and protective. Do you have a long-term goal as you sit here today? I don't have a long-term goal, except I want to continue my practice. I'm a lawyer. When I look at myself in the mirror, I see an advocate. I was born to do this. I really feel that you way. You do feel that. I do. When is Vasquez and Associates going to open? <laughs> I'll let you know. <laughs> you're, you're the first to know, Gail. <laughs>